Hi everyone, today we're going to craft an accumulation processor. It looks like this. To do that, we're going to need a matter condenser. Matter condensers condense items into singularities. You're going to need 256,000 items. Inside the matter condenser, you're also going to want a 64K ME storage component, which will store all of the items to be condensed. I usually use a cobblestone generator attached to an item pipe with a servo underneath to create the singularity. It takes a little bit. Once you have your singularity, you need an inscriber that is powered. So I have it connected to my ME drive. And you need to have two separate presses. Here I have an inscriber calculation press and an inscriber engineering press. And you take your singularity and you place it into the inscriber to craft an inscriber accumulation press. Once you have that, place it back into your inscriber and you're going to want some sky steel to craft accumulation processors. To make sky steel is kind of complicated, but once you understand the theory, it's pretty simple. You're going to need an ME pattern provider like this one. You're going to want a bucket of lava, three glass blocks, an ME formation plane, an ME annihilation plane, an ME interface, an ME storage bus, a bunch of Fluix ME smart cables, and two quartz cables as well. You're going to also need to craft one single sky steel ingot, and you're going to need a processing pattern. Now the processing patterns are made in an ME pattern encoding terminal, and you're going to want to make one for sky steel, like so. So you search up sky steel. You find the pattern, like so, and you click it, ensuring that the middle one is iron. Because I don't have any of the other metals. So you need one charged Sardis Quartz crystal, one iron ingot, and one sky stone to craft two sky steel ingots. Creating your pattern, like so. Okay. Then you're going to go over here and you're going to connect an ME pattern provider to your ME controller, like so. Okay. On the top, you're going to want a storage bus set to sky steel ingot, which you can do just by clicking a sky steel ingot inside. Okay. And on the front, underneath all these wires, you're going to have your ME interface set like so. Okay. Connected to that using one Fluix smart cable is going to be your formation plane. Your formation plane needs to be set to block will be dropped as item instead of block will be dropped as block. If it's dropped as a block, it will destroy your lava and it will not work. So make sure it's dropped as an item. Connect it, connecting that to your pattern provider, you're going to want to use quartz fiber cables. This means that you're getting power to your formation plane, but no items are coming from the side. They're only coming from the ME interface. Connecting your annihilation plane above, you're also going to want to connect with one quartz fiber cable and then smart cables connected to the annihilation plane. The annihilation plane doesn't have any items or any settings inside it, but you're going to want to set the storage bus to sky steel and then also connect a facade to the pipe in front of the lava. You have to place your lava in between the two blocks and surround it with blocks. I use glass because it allows you to see what you're doing. Once you've placed your pattern inside the pattern provider, go into your ME terminal. As you can see, I'm not crafting anything right now. Look up your sky steel recipe and hit the amount that you want to craft and hit start. As you can see, the formation plane immediately dropped all the items. The annihilation plane picked them up when they were sky steel because you have it set to only pick up sky steel ingots. And there you go. That's how you craft sky steel ingots. Now, when you want to craft 
a specific item, especially using auto crafting, you're going to want to set up pattern providers around your inscribers. So here I have all of my inscribers set up with all of my different items inside. So this one only makes printed silicon. This one makes the logic circuit. That's for diamond. And this is your inscriber accumulation press. This is my pattern for printed accumulation circuits. So what you want to do is exactly what you did for your sky steel pattern. This is a pattern that you're going to make in your pattern encoding terminal. Going into your pattern encoding terminal, just like you did before, you find the pattern for printed accumulation circuits. You hit fill recipe, and then you see that it requires an inscriber accumulation press. We don't want it to try to pull an inscriber accumulation press from the ME every single time you want to craft it. So what I do is remove that. Then I hit encode and I go over to where I have my inscriber set up and I put it in. So it, it doesn't require the accumulation press to work. Now I'm going to show you how it works over here. All you have to do is move everything over a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to connect this behind it. So I'm going to put down my pattern provider. Once you have your pattern for printed accumulation circuits and your inscriber, as well as your pattern provider, you're going to place your inscriber next to your pattern provider, ensuring that it's set up like this. And auto export is turned on, as well as automation access mode. You're going to want to add four acceleration cards to speed up the process and place your inscriber accumulation press inside. Then you're going to click start on your recipe and watch it work. There you go. Once you have your printed accumulation circuits, you can hit U on them to see what they're used for. And you're going to require Fluix dust as well as printed silicon. Printed silicon is really, really simple. You should already have inscriber silicon presses. You can find them in meteors. And you can craft silicon by cooking Certus Quartz dust down. Certus Quartz dust is literally just putting a Certus Quartz into an inscriber. So to craft the Fluix, you're going to require another one of these machines. But instead of lava, you're going to place water. And instead of sky stone, it's going to be Fluix set in this storage bus. It will toss the charged Certus Quartz, Redstone, and Nether Quartz into the water, and it will craft you Fluix dust or Fluix crystals. Then you're going to crush them into an, an inscriber that's empty. So I have it set up over here. Inscribers like this will craft you Fluix dust by crushing the crystals for you. It also crafts Skystone dust by crushing Skystone blocks. Altogether, I believe that's everything processor. you need to know. One, if I were to switch out this recipe and I were to add Fluix dust and printed silicon into my ME system over here. Then I can craft. Twenty-five accumulation processors, just like so. 
And there you go. That's how you craft accumulation processors from start to finish. Hopefully you already have a mini little Emmy set up and some crafting co-processing units as well as crafting storage. You don't need mega crafting storage at this point. I just have it here because I already had it on me. You can craft smaller storage and processing units, cheaper ones too. Whenever you want to stop a recipe, all you have to do is hit cancel. I really hope this helped you and I hope everything made sense. If you have any questions, don't for forget to leave your comments and questions under the video in the section below and happy crafting.